In art integrated learning, we highlight integration of art experience with different subject through appropriate examples. For example, if we are covering mathematics, then we will have example which is appropriate and suitable to mathematics, but if we are covering it uh, for the language, then we will go for, a, for an example which goes well with the languages. Art integrated learning can also be used by you as an assessment tool wherever you want because in assessment we will be doing assessment as learning, for learning, of learning and art integrated learning is such a competent and efficient approach to intervene at all the three stages. Friends, in art integrated learning, we have a very flexible approach because it's very flexible, it's dynamic. You can think even if you have planned something else and in the classroom, you realize that children have a different mood, weather is also different and you feel like designing a new activity, you can do it because this can accommodate hundreds of activities. So, you do not have to bother about one activity or planning uh, a particular kind of activity only. Even the uh, art form, you can go for visual arts, you can go for performing art. So, it is very, very dynamic in nature and you can, you can think of as many activities as you feel like. Uh, well, in art integrated learning, you will be uh, going through so many things uh, uh, the way we are taking you uh, around through our uh, different materials. There will be uh, concept so that you learn about art integrated learning and its concept. You will also have materials, you will also have such videos where you will learn the whole process, how to plan art integrated activities, how to conduct art integrated activities and how to assess art integrated activities. Let me tell you one uh, special feature of uh, uh, art integrated learning that this is a hands on experience uh, approach, you cannot cover it theoretically. So, when we talk of art integrated learning as rightly goes in your mind that you will be doing one or the other art form, art activity where you and your students will go through different kind of uh, experiences and those experiences will then be connected to the subjects. Uh, we will also have a different kind of worksheets, workbooks and activities which will make uh, the learner think, imagine, explore, observe, reflect and freely express whatever they feel like expressing. Uh, in the art integrated learning activities, uh, we will try to go sequence wise because if we do it without planning, without uh, uh, putting it in a particular sequence, we may not benefit though uh, children will benefit by uh, any art experience, they will learn, they will be happy uh, and the environment will, will be very joyful, but your planned experience and your plan linking with the subject will be effective only if you go in a sequential manner. Uh, in art integrated learning, there is one more special feature uh, because we address assessment along with learning. Here you will find that portfolio has a very, very uh, important role. So, whatever children are doing, whatever the learner is doing needs to be maintained in the portfolio with the date and uh, if possible the, the subject also when we conducted what kind of activities. This will be very, very helpful to you all for the assessment purpose. In art integrated learning, uh, we will be giving uh, you materials which are exemplars and uh, uh, these are planned activities. For example, one exemplar will talk of mathematics with arts 
another exemplar will talk of science with arts, then language with arts and social science with arts. So, uh, you uh, definitely are going to explore after reading those uh, uh, particular exemplars. There are some small activities which you will be going through where you will find that the deeper side of the art integrated learning concept will be there. The sequence in which you will be following uh, the activities uh, and the experiences planned, you will find that you are learning by yourself and you will be more confident the moment you do those activities and worksheets. And of course, at the end, very interesting questions which are objective type questions to uh, assess the learning in a fun manner. So, that is all about the art integrated learning approach as pedagogy of joyful and experiential learning. I wish you all uh, the best with this new approach to teaching and learning which I do not need to tell how interesting and how meaningful it would be. So, to see the interest, to see the joy and see that quality which you wanted your children to have after uh, teaching and learning for yourself once you complete AIL approach. Thank you very much and I am very sure that you will be able to apply art integrated learning in your own sessions. Thank you very much. So, I will take you around on different parts of the concept of art integrated learning and for uh, your easy understanding, I am putting it in a way of questions and answer. So, the first question comes to my mind is, what is art integrated learning? The dictionary meaning of integration is the act of combining or adding part to make a unified whole. Thus, art integration means combining arts with the teaching learning of different curricular areas. Subject such as languages, social studies, sciences and mathematics can be easily linked with art experience. Art can clarify many concept of these subjects with very, very simple and easy manner. Thus, the abstract concepts within the subjects can be concretized seamlessly using different art forms. Learning with this approach helps in increasing knowledge, understanding and application of the subject area on one hand and foster a sense of appreciation on the other. This is what is called holistic or complete learning. Art provides a language for expression. The expression can be through visual arts or in the form of performing arts. So, child can either make something or perform through uh, using his or her voice or the body. Art integrated classroom can provide learning experiences that engage children, their mind, their heart and their body. You must be thinking about it because uh, somewhere we are writing art education and at other places we are writing art integrated learning. Well, in simple words, art education is a curricular area means a subject which is compulsory from class 1 to 10. Art education refers to specialized knowledge of the grammar, grammar of art, theory and performance techniques of the art forms. It is the experience provided by the teacher wherein students are taught to express themselves through visual and performing arts. Art education is a process which encourages sensory explorations. It provides a platform to work with ideas, materials to create expression which might not be expressed through words alone. It encourages the non-verbal expression to be brought forth be it in the form of a song, painting or a performance. Art integrated learning 
is a teaching learning model which is based on learning through the arts and with the arts. It is a process where art becomes the medium of teaching learning, a key to understand the concept with any subject or curriculum. In art integrated learning, the learner explores creatively while building connections between different concepts and art experience. In integration, we work with the arts at the center of the curriculum. Here art enables children to explore and use multiple skills and abilities. There are visual arts and performing arts. Visual arts is a creative form of art which is to be appreciated or perceived primarily by viewing painting, sculpture, photography, printmaking, stage art, clay modeling, applied arts and crafts are generally termed as visual arts. Whereas, performing arts are creative and artistic expressions performed in front of audience where performers use their voice, bodies or inanimate objects to convey artistic expression. Performing arts include dance, music, vocal and instrumental both, theater, puppetry, mime, storytelling, martial arts, magic performances, cinema, etc. While engaging with arts, learners go through different stages such as observing, thinking, imagining, exploring, experimenting, deducing, creating, recreating and expressing. These stages need actual involvement of all the three domains, cognitive, psychomotor and affective. Hence, it is experiential in nature and leads to the holistic development of every learner. The benefit of such experiential learning creates the basis for better learning in other subjects. Arts are natural medium for free expression of one's imagination and thoughts, where every learner has the freedom to be different and unique. Art integrated learning as pedagogy at school level provides creative space to every learner to explore, experience, express, celebrate without worrying about the judgment. Here, the learner, learner is encouraged to experience art as a process and not worry about the product which helps them overcome the subject fear and enhances their joy of doing and learning. Arts also address the diverse learning needs and provides every learner with alternative means of expression where they can explore and experience a topic more deeply without pressures of outcome, which results in joyful learning. Art integrated learning involves working on all the three domains, cognitive, psychomotor and affective domain, simultaneously which fulfills the pedagogical need of competency based learning and competency based learning outcomes both. AIL is a cross curricular pedagogical approach where learners get adequate space and scope for free expression. Here they are proactively engaged in the creative inquiry process to construct and demonstrate understanding of the content and pass through various stages of observation, imagination, exploration, experimentation, creation and application of knowledge. AIL by its nature also provides teachers with an access to monitor the continuous and comprehensive process of learning which helps them assist children as per their need. Further, AIL helps to democratize the process of assessment in which students are offered multiple modes to express their learning which makes it an effective tool for both competencies based learning and to assess the competency based learning. Process is more important than the product.
one of the most important aspects of art is that there is no right or wrong answer. Knowledge is approached in an exper experimental manner. There is no need to separate the artwork of the literate from the illiterate, the disabled from the non-disabled or of boys from the girls. As art is an expression of the self, it helps the disadvantaged to express their innermost feelings through their works of art. Similarly, those belonging to communities that suffer social ostracism can work easily alongside with others in the class, because art is a journey where no one has all the answers. Now, let us talk about the inclusive approach. In the pedagogy of AIL, the focus is always more on the process of learning than the final product of art. AIL in its approach provides equal spaces and opportunity to every child irrespective of their learning abilities, gender, caste or their socio-economic or socio-cultural background. The children with special needs given conscious attention to promote their participation in the AIL process of teaching learning on an equal footing with their peers. AIL promotes art as medium and not as product and discourages any kind of com comparisons of one learner with another, it gives them freedom to go beyond formal boundaries of school and express their thoughts in their known medium, which they may not do in subject teaching learning otherwise. While working as team in art activities, children do engage with each other without thinking of any barriers. This makes children learn about each other, appreciate each other, value each other and create a healthy environment of unity in diversity.